Today we are going to learn how to compare two decimals. Let's say I'm told to compare using these three symbols and am given the numbers 415.3 and 415.271. Hmm, well the first thing I need to do is make sure that I line up these numbers and I'm going to have to be careful because 415.3 only has four digits but 415.271 has six digits. Well, what I can do to make sure I line these numbers up properly is make sure the decimal points are lined up. I will write 415.3 nice and big, and then put the decimal point from the other number right below. Then I can write in the rest of 415.271, making sure that each number is directly lined up with the number above it. Great. Now that my numbers are lined up, I can start comparing. I'm going to start by comparing these fours because they are in the largest place value. I will always compare the largest place value first. But hmm, when I look here, four and four are the same. That's not helpful for deciding which number is bigger. Let's cross those out and move over to the next place value. When I look here, one and one are also the same. We'll cross those out too and move over again. Five and five are the well, 5 and 5 are the same, so we'll cross them out and move over to the 3 and the 2. 3 and 2 are... Aha! 3 and 2 are different. Finally, I can stop here. 3 is bigger than 2, so this number, 415.3, must be the bigger number. So 415.3 is larger, but now I have to write that using these symbols. Well, the trick I always use to remember is that on the symbol, there is a big open side and a small pointy side. The big open side faces the bigger number, and the small pointy side faces the smaller number. No matter how I flip the symbol, the small pointy side faces the small number, and the big open side is facing the bigger number. So because 415.3 is bigger, I will have the open big side facing it. I can write it like this. Now let's practice comparing decimals together. Let's compare using these three symbols the numbers 21.357 and 21.375. Well, I need to begin by lining up my two numbers. What should I do to make sure I line my numbers up correctly? I can always be sure my numbers are lined up if I line up the decimal point. I could write 21.357 and then put the decimal point in 21.375 under it, making sure the decimals are on top of each other. Now which two digits should I compare first? We will always begin by comparing the largest place value first, which here is the 2 and the 2. Now 2 and 2 are the same, so what should I do? Well, when the digits are the same, we can't decide anything. We'll cross them out and move to the next place value. We see 1 and 1 are also the same, so we'll cross those out too. 3 and 3 are also the same, we'll cross them out and move over. And then we get to 5 and 7. Finally, they are different. Based on the 5 and the 7, which number is larger? Well, 7 is larger, so this number, 21.375, must be the bigger number. How can I write this comparison using symbols? Remember in your comparisons that the big open side faces the bigger number and the small pointy side faces the smaller number. So I can write it like this. Let's do one more together. We will compare using these symbols the numbers 892.10 and 892.02. When I line up the numbers, I need to make sure I line up the... I need to line up the decimal point. Now compare the numbers on your own. Which number is bigger? Well, I'll start by comparing the 8s because they are in the largest place value. But 8 and 8 are the same, so I cross them out and move over. 9 and 9 are also the same, cross them out and move over. 2 and 2 are the same, cross them out, move over. 1 and 0, those are different. I will stop here. The 1 is larger, so this number, 892.10, must be larger. How should I write my comparison? Well, the big open side of the comparison symbol is the bigger number, and the small pointy side faces the smaller number, so I could write it like this. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Compare using these three symbols the numbers 32.867 and 32.687.
Well, if you line up the numbers, you can see that 3 and 3 are the same, the 2 and 2 are the same, but the 8 and the 6 are different. 8 is larger, so 32.867 is the bigger number. To write this, I will have the big open side of my symbol facing the larger number. Now here is one more problem to practice with. Compare using these three symbols the numbers 10.421 and 14.021. Well, if you line these numbers up, you can see the 1 and the 1 are the same, but the 0 and 4 are different. The 4 is bigger, so 14.021 is larger. To show this comparison, I can write it like this. So from today, remember, when you compare decimals, line up the numbers starting with the decimal point. Compare starting with the largest place value, and write your comparison symbol in the correct direction.